back. In this video, I'll be walking you through partial derivation. <coughs> partial derivation. Now, this is our outline. At the end of this video, you should know the, I mean, you know the definition of partial derivation, which is an introduction to partial derivation, um, definition of Jacobian, and the definition of uh, what to Now, by the end of this video, you should know all this. This is Further Solution Academy. Further Solution Academy. Please subscribe and share our video. Subscribe to our video, subscribe to our channel, and share to your friends, to everybody. Okay, let's start. Jacobian. <clears throat> okay, the first one is introduction to what? To partial derivation. Introduction to partial derivation. Now, partial derivation is not the same thing as total derivation. It's not at the same as what? Total derivation. If I have the y, the x, this is known as what? Total derivation. But if I have I have of y, of this one is known as what? Partial derivation. This is partial derivation. This is total derivation. Now, and in this video, I'll be working on this particular aspect, which is known as what? Partial derivation. Now, okay. Okay, if I have particular problem like this, I have a, this partial derivation is just like function, function of, of several, several variable, sorry, several variable. Now, of several variable. Now, if I have of several variable, I can have my function of x, y, can be equals to what? For instance, my function of x squared can be equals to what? x squared minus 2y squared. Now, if I have this particular problem, it means my function of what? x and y equals to, I can turn it to more than, if I have function of x, y, z, I can also have x squared plus 2y squared plus 2z x. Now, I know at this point become a three variable. At this point, two variable. I can do that as more as much as more and more. But let me start from this aspect. If I have function of this particular, and I want to find the what the partial derived. Now I want to obtain, obtain, obtain. Now let me obtain um, 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 f of. Okay, let me. Have, f of x and uh, f of y. Now, please note, note something. If I have f of x, the same thing as partial of, of f on, on what? y, with respect of i. And also, if I have f of y, the same thing as what? Partial of f all over partial of y. Now, if I want to obtain, it means my f of x, let me and, my f of x, my partial derivative of f of x, it will be equal to, I will only consider x at this point because I'm working towards what? x. It means it's equal to what? 2x. Why my partial derivation of what? On y. With respect of y, I will only I will only consider y, which is what minus four y. I will neglect the x side. But it will be very funny if I have a something of this nature. I have something of this nature. I want to obtain something like x and y square. Now I'm has to find obtain obtain f of x and f of y. Now, it means if I should obtain that, I will have partial of with respect of x, it will be what? I will, now, x is here, x is, 
they are on the other I mean on the two sides. It means I will have what this point I will now consider what 2xy squared minus 2y squared. That is my final answer. If I should have my partial derivation of on what on y, I will also have 2 x square y minus 4y x. That is my final answer. Now, that is my final answer. Now, let me give out some problem on these aspects that can give us problem. Maybe during the exam or any, any place or any, any app. Okay. Let's try to obtain then let's try to obtain, let's try to obtain something of this nature. I have um, f of x, f of xy equals to, f of xy equals to sine square x and cos y minus x all over y square minus y all over x square. Now, I want to obtain, obtain, obtain um f of x and f of y now if i should obtain this particular question i mean to solve this problem solution now i will have my f of x which is also known as what of x can be equals to now on this my x i can if i want to differentiate this I can turn this x, this particular sine square, I can turn it to sine, sine, and cos. It means it will become a product rule. Now, this one will be u, this one will be v. It means if I should differentiate them, I will have 2, two sine x cos x. You can try that on product. Now, cos what? This is y, sorry. This is y. I will be having cos cos y. Now minus. Um, I want to consider only x. It will be what? When you differentiate this one, I will have one all over y squared, which I can now see that what my f of x can be equals to, which is also known as what partial of what of x is equals to what two sine x cos x cos y minus y inverse cos. Now, that is my answer for that. Now, of y, of y, I can also call it like this, which is equals to, now I will consider only y at this point. I will consider only y. It means I will be having sine square x. If I differentiate this, I will have minus sine y minus, now, I can turn this to, I can turn this x, y minus square. I can turn it like that, this particular aspect, I can turn it to this way. Which, if I should differentiate that, I'll be having minus 2. I'll be having minus 2. And um, I'll be having x. My x will remain the same. If I should minus 1 from that, I'll be having y minus 3. Which I can now present my answer as, which is my function of it to be what? Minus sine square x sine y plus plus 2. Now, 2x all over y raised to power 3. That is my final answer. That is my final answer. Now, we can do that. And so on and so forth can do that and that is all about our uh, partial derivation now let's move on to uh, example two example two example two can be a bit bit tougher example two can be a bit tougher okay example two can be a bit tougher if I have if u equals to 1 minus 1 minus 2xy plus y raised to power 3 
plus y raised to power, let me use y is power 2, or bracket of minus 1 over 2. Okay. Show that, show that x u of minus y u of of x equals to u y squared u is to power 3. Now, I want to solve this particular formula. Now, if you are to show or you are to show any particular question, you will start from what? To start from NHS or RHS. Now, from LHS. That is where I'm starting from. It means I want to consider x u of y minus y u of x of y. Right? This is y, sorry. Now, I want to consider that. Now, how do I start? I will have, I need my u of x. My u of x can be equal to, the first thing I will do is that I will bring down my power, 1 all over 2. I will differentiate here with respect of what? Of x. It means I will have dot minus 2, minus 2y. Now, that is a different here. Now, I will now bring back my what? Argument, which is what? 2xy plus y cubed, I mean squared, all brackets, minus 1 from the power, which is, I will have minus 1 all over 3. Minus 1, which is, yes, sorry, minus 1, minus 1, which is what? Minus 1, minus 3, all over 2, sorry. Minus 3, all over 2. Now, that is first thing, which is my two will cancel two. My final will be what? Will be um, 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 y minus times minus is plus. Bracket of one, two x, y plus y squared, or bracket of minus three, all over two. That is for that. That is for that. Now, I can now proceed to my, to this, which I will have u of what? All about u of y. The same way, break down the power, which I will have minus 1 all over 2. Differentiate inside with respect of what? Y. I want to differentiate inside with respect of y, which I will have 2x minus, and I have plus, 2y, bring back the argument, which I have 2xy, and minus 1 from the power, minus 3 all over 2. Now, by so doing this, by so doing this, okay, what can I do next? I think 2, 2 is present here. If I factor out the 2, I will have something very good, which I will have Minus we now minus here it will be x minus y that two have cancelled it means what I mean is two x two y now I will factor out I will factor out two once I factor out two two is here it means two is two can be factored out on both sides if two is present on both sides two two and these two we interact with this that one is gone now. Minus times minus is plus. Minus times plus is minus. Now, I will now move on by having this bracket of, and um, I will be having 1, 2, x plus, or bracket of what? Minus u over 2. Now, at this point, at this point, if I should try to, okay, what can I do? To neglect my 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 what can I do? What can I do to neglect my I can turn this if I multiply this one by two by two I think it will be fine. It means I will now be having 
I will now be having, sorry, I will also have by two here, sorry, by two. This will cancel this. Now, I will now be having, um, I'll be having x minus y, a bracket of u raised to power 3. Y at this junction, I will also be having um, ma, 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 y bracket of u raised to power 3. Y bracket of u raised to power 3. Now, I will now back to my, which is what? My LHX. My LHX lets me to know that x, u of what? Of x minus y, u of of y. Now, what is my x? My x, my x has nothing to do, which is I will now have my x dot u of x. My u of x is y u3 minus, what is my u of y? My u of, now I have y, now my u of y, which I have x minus y u3. Now, at this junction, I'll be having x y u cube minus, I have this, I have this. When I open brackets, which is, I will have u x plus y squared u3. Now, this we cancel this. Once that cancel that, now left with what? u squared, I mean u squared, and uh, I mean y squared u raised to power 3. Y, I mean u cube. Now, it means which is equals to what we are having here. Now, therefore, LHS is equals to RHS. That is my final answer. That is my final answer. Now, that is all. That is all. Since my LHS is equals to RHS and it is proved. Now, now, okay. Okay, now let me introduce you to the next one. But before we do that, before we do that, you try this and um, try this. Okay, before we do that, you have to try this and drop your comment after. Try this and drop your comment after. Um, Z, if, if Z equals to tan inverse of inverse of y all over x. Obtain 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 z of what of x and z of y. Please try this. Drop your comment after. Drop your comment after. You surely be attentive. to. Now, this will now take us to what? Jacobian. Jacobian. Now, this will take us to Jacobian. My Jacobian. Now, Jacobian. Now, Jacobian. It's just like when you are having a function of u equals to e of cos y and also you are having v uh, mama e x sine y. Now, this is a very good example of what? Jacobian. It means u and v be the function of the what? u and v be functions of two variable x and y the jacobian of u and v with respect of x and y is denoted by is denoted by u all about what 
of x of y. Now, which I cannot turn it to what? Jacobian of uv all over what? xy, which also can be written as u of x, u of y, and um, u of v of x, and what? Of y. Now, you find the terminant. Once you find the terminant of that, you are talking about what? Jacobian. You are talking about Jacobian. It can be in three. If it is three form, it means I have a function of what? U. I have a U, V, Z. It means U, V, Z. A function of what? A function of, a function of X, Y, Z. How will I obtain? It means it's also the same thing as Jacobian of what? U, V, I mean U, V, Z. And of X, Y, Z. I will do the same, which also I'll be having the terminant of each point, which I will be having u of v all over u of x, u of v all over u of y, u of v, u, sorry, u, u, this are u, sorry, all over u of z. I will do the same thing, u of v all over u of x, u of v all over u of y, u of v all over u of z. And also u of z all over u of x, u of z all over u of y, u of z all over u of z. Now I will find the terminant. By solving this, I'm referring to what Jacobian. Now all this I can use. I can manage my space by having u of x, u of y, and also v of x. V of Y, which is the first one. Also, my second one, I can say I have U of S, U of Y, U of Z, and V of X, V of Y, V of Z, Z of X, Z of Y, Z of Z. They are the same thing. They are the same thing. Now, all these are of Jacobian. Now, let me now explain. Let me give an example so that we'll be able to understand this particular aspect of Jacobian. Okay. The first one, the first one, I want to have, okay, if I have, um, my, 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 I have if I have u, if u equals to x squared minus y squared and v equals to 2xy, v equals to 2xy, obtain the Jacobian. I want to obtain the Jacobian. Now, okay, or in normal textbook, they will give to you like this u of what v all over what x y okay now i want to obtain this what i will just do is that what solution i don't need to waste my time u of x is same thing as what 2x u of y is same thing as what minus 2y v of s then as 2y V of y is equal to what? 2x. Now, I will now obtain. If I should obtain my Jacobian, which I will have something like this. I have u of x, u of y, v of x, v of y, which it will be equals to, I have 2x minus 2y, I have 2y 
and the two X. Now, your terminant in matrix, the terminant, I have to find the terminant, this times this, this times this, I have four X, right? This times this, which is minus will be here, minus times, which is minus times minus, it will be plus, plus what? 4y squared. It means my final answer can be x squared plus y squared. That's my final answer. Okay, another one. That's my final answer. That's all. That is my roster. Now, if I have, I have a particular problem like this, which there are more than two, there are three at this time. Okay. Okay, if I have another problem like this, if x equals to, if you, okay, if x equals to r cos theta, and um, my y equals to r sin theta, and z equals to z, my z equals to z. Now, obtain the Jacobian, which is obtain u x, y, z. All about what? U of what? U of r, theta, and z. Now, I have nothing to do. Just to solve this solution. It's very simple. What I will just do is that what? My x of r, it will be equal to cos, it will be equal to cos theta. My x of theta, it will be equal to, if I differentiate theta, I mean cos, I will have sine, I have minus sine, and my x of z, it will be equal to zero. That is all. Because there is no z on this particular aspect. Now, I'll move on to the next one. Y of r, it will be equal to what? Sine theta. I have um, y of theta, it will be equal to r cross theta, and y of r, it will be zero. And also, I will move on to z of r, it will be zero. z of theta, it will be equal to zero, and z of z, it will be equal to one. Now, I can now set up my what? My, which is, I will have my Jacobian can be equal to um, my x, y, s theta, s z, um, my y, z, r, y theta, y z. And also, z of r, z of theta, and z of z which I can now present them as, what is my, I have cos, I have minus r sine, and I have zero. I have a mama -ma sine, and I have r cos, and I have zero. Now, I will have zero, zero, and one. I can now easily find my determinant. My determinant can be equal to, which is my Jacobian, can be equal to, my Jacobian can be equal to, I have cos theta bracket of, this times this, I will have r cos theta. Now, minus plus zero. Plus, this is minus, Minus times minus is plus, which is from our terminant. I will have r sine theta bracket of this times this and this times this. I will have sine theta plus zero. This also, everything here will be zero. Now, at this point, now at this point, this times this, I will be having r cos square theta plus this also I'll be having r sine square theta. Now, when I have this, 
I can now say that what? My Jacobian is equal to R bracket of cos square theta plus sine square theta, which I will have my R equals to. Now, from the trigonometric ratio, cos square theta plus sine square square theta is equal to 1. Recall, let me just recall that sine square theta plus cos square theta equals to 1. Therefore, my Jacobian equals to what? R bracket of 1, which is equals to what? R. That is my final answer for that. That's my final answer for that. Now, you can try this. Drop your comment after. Try this and drop your comment after. Okay. Before that, just try, let me explain what our uh, Roskian. Let me try to explain Roskian. Roskian is just like, is a total, that one is a total derivative. If I talk about Roskian, Roskian is telling me is a what? Is a total Roskian. Roskian is a total derivative. Now, it means I'll be having my Roskian of y1, y2, which is to be equal to what? y1, y2, y prime, y prime of. Now, but if it is 3, y1, y2, y3, I will do the same thing on my Roskian, y prime, y2 and 3, y prime, 1, y prime 2, y prime 3, y prime prime 1, y prime prime 2, y prime prime 3. It means I will differentiate. This one is total derivative. Can you see the Jacobian is partial Why the Roskian is what? Is total. Now, total derivative, the first one, the total derivative of which is first derivative, second derivative. Now, after that, you will now find what? The, you find the uh, determinant. That is your, all about Roskian, what I mean, Roskian. Now, you can try this, drop your comment after, which has, um, um, if I have, um, okay, if I have u equals to, if u equals to, um, y minus x all over all over y minus x all over 1 plus xy and and um, v equals to tan inverse of y plus tan inverse of x now obtain the jacobian just obtain find u of and v all over what? Of x <coughs> and y. <coughs> Obtain this. Just try this. And also on Roskian. If you have, find the Roskian on this. Please, just find this. Find it. Now, that Roskian, there are two things behind it. The Roskian, it will be linearly dependent or linearly independent. Now, if your Roskian, I mean your, uh, your, your Roskian, is well, after doing the, the determinant and you have a zero when you solve it and you have a zero it means when your roskian is equal to a zero when your roskian is equal to zero let me just quickly on that note this information is a very important information when my roskian my, my, my roskian of x1 x2 okay let me use y1 y1 y2 y3 after finding it and you are equals to what is zero now once it's equals to zero it means is linearly is linearly 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 independent independent now but if linearly independent now but if your Roskian y2 y is not equal to zero, now if it is not equal to zero, 
Now, Jody, this is linearly dependent. Sorry, linearly dependent. Linearly dependent. If it is equal to zero, it's linearly dependent. Now, but if it is not equal to zero, it means it's linearly independent. Sorry for that mit mistake. Is linearly independent. Now, both of them, both Roscan and Jacobian, their principle, you will use application of what? Determinant to find that. Now, okay, before we, before I go, try this, drop your comment after. Okay, and also try maybe this particular problem is linearly dependent or linearly independent. Okay, if I have, try this too. The first one is, well, yes, of my um, mom. Okay, okay, I have e of x, e of 5x, raised power, and um, e of, now, try this, number one. Number two, also try this. I have the Roscan of, of my mom. Okay, okay, don't leave the number two. Try this. Drop your comment after. Just check. Maybe it's, it's linearly dependent or linearly independent. Now, before we, before I close this class, before I close this video, I want to show you something that is very, very common. That is very, very common. <coughs> it's very, very common. Now, the easiest way, another way. For instance, I have z equals to u squared plus v squared, and I have I have my I have my u and u equals to x squared plus y squared and um, and I have my v v equals to 2xy. Let me not put no, but, no, but rubbish. Now if I want to do this thing, this is in this, this is in this, and this is in this. Now, how do I solve this particular equation? This is the upper case. This is the middle case, and this is the lowest case. S is the lowest case. Now, I will do like this, Z. Z give back to 2, which is what? U and V. And also, this give back to 2, X and Y. And this also give back to 2, X and Y. Now, how do I go? Okay, I want to obtain, let me just, I want to obtain, I want to obtain, Find, sorry, find z of x and z of y. Now, if I should find this, can you see that this jump to this? What I will just do is that what? The first thing I will do is that I will have my z of u will be equals to, I will first go from z of y Okay, what I will just need is that my z of u, which is, uh, it will be what? 2u. And my u of x, it will be what? My u of x, it will be what? It will be 1. My u of x, it will be 1. And also, I will now also move on to my z of u of what okay okay i cannot move on again u of y it will be what u of y it will be one now i will now move on again u of v equals to what to u to v let me put minus here so that you will be made to make sense minus to u now v of x it will be what v of x it will be what 2y v of y it will be 2x now how do i obtain my 2 of z z of x my z of x my z of x will be equals to it will be equals to u of what of u multiplied by u of of x plus 
this one will be u of z u of what of u multiplied by u of u i mean of v sorry sorry of v of v sorry this one will be v sorry of v and of x now at this point z of my x it will be equal to this of this it will be 2 u i have 2 u and this one will be what it's 1 plus of this u of z u of z it will be u which is what this i have minus 2 v and v of x my v of x is 2 y 2 y now i will now select mine what is my u this is my u 2 bracket of x plus y now this one will now be minus this minus will affect so what is my v bracket of what 2xy bracket of what 2y now, my final answer will now be what? 2x plus 2y, which is 4. This one will be 4. This one will be 8. Minus 8x, which is xy squared. That is my final answer. That is my final answer. Now, if I should get of z, you can do the same thing for what? For y. Which I will go for what? Um, 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 u of z to be the same way. At this point, I don't need to stress myself. It should be the same way. Ah, wow. I've, 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 I'm sorry. Sorry. I don't need to pull up. Okay. I can say minus 2v and um, v of x will be 2y. v of y, it will be 2 it will be 2x. Now, at this point, if I should get the second one, which is what? Of z. Of z. I will go, it means I will go come like this, and I will come like this. I will come like this, and I will come like this. That's all. It means I will be working towards what? u of what? Dot of. Dot of what? u of x. I mean of y rather. Plus u z of v plus what u v of what of y which i will now say that my z of y it will be what is my u of z u of z is 2 u <coughs> u of z sorry u of z which is 2u multiplied by what is my u of y? u of y is 1 plus u of z. This is um, of z. I have minus 2v and um, v of y. I have 2x, which I will have my answer as what is my u? 2 bracket of what? My u is what? 2 bracket of x plus y minus 2 bracket of which is 4 bracket of i have i have um 2 4 which is 4 okay which is i have what is my v my v is 2xy which everything will now be what to implies 2x plus 2y minus 8xy that's my final answer. That's my final answer. Now, it's very simple. Let me give you my, because this is very common in any exam, like any area of exam. Okay, let me try this also. Okay, let me try this also. Um, okay, I can have a W of x okay okay let me use x 
by values to x and um, x equals to 2r or 2x and y equals to s minus t. Now, I want to obtain, find, find u of x and and u of t. Now, this is very simple. What I will just do is that I will have my u. My u give back to 2, which is what? Um, it give back to x and y. My y give back to what? My s give back to only x. S. Y my y give back to what? T and s. Now, that is all. And it means, if I show, I will have my u of x, u of x, it will be what? y squared. u of, of y, it will be, u of y, it will be 2xy. Which I will also say that what? x of x, it will be 2, and s of t, it will be 0. And also, y of s, it will be minus t. I mean, y of x, it will be 1, sorry. Y, y of t, it will be minus 1. Now, by solving this, I will now generate my what? It means u of x, it will be, what is my u of x? My u of s will be, my u of s, it means I work like this, like this, and like this. It means u of x dot s of s plus u of y dot y of x, which I will have, what is my u of x? u of x is y squared. Now, dot of x, s of x is what? s of x is 2 plus um, u of y, I have 2xy, y of s, y of x is 1. Now, which I will have y, what is my y? This is my y, this is my y here. My y is given as this, it will be what? s minus t, all squared, 2, plus 2, what is my x? My s is 2 of x, now, and my y is bracket of what? s minus t which my final answer will be what? 2 bracket of s minus t plus 4 s bracket of s minus t. That is my final answer. Now, that is all about that. This is very, very common. You can note that. It's very, very common. Now, try this. Drop your comment after. Try, make sure you try drop your comment if there is any problem. Even though there is no any problem, make sure you drop your comment. We will surely be attended to. Okay. You can try this. Uh, mama. Okay. Okay, I've dropped a lot of questions in the past. You can try those questions. Make sure you drop your comment. Once again, this is further solution. Academy. Please subscribe, share our videos. Please subscribe to our channel and share our video. Thanks for watching.